Today I will show you how you can add Google Drive and Dropbox to DaVinci Resolve so you can work with the files even in a cloud. Let's go to DaVinci Resolve. You're probably familiar how you can add files. So you can go here on this little icon, import media, and then your file system is working. And you see here on the left side, you have iCloud Drive. You can also import stuff from photos. But anyway, one more trick. Maybe you don't know that one. I just figured that out. You can also import folders. What does it mean? For example, I can go in here in my project files for my new DaVinci Resolve course that I'm working on right now. And this is the footage, the A-roll and the B-roll that I will give to everyone who is in my class. So now you can open and what happens now? We don't want to change the project settings. Boom! We already included all folders and the files inside of the folders. But what if you want to work on Dropbox or Google Drive? So this is the way how you can do this. So first go to your file system and in your file system, if you don't see Dropbox or Google Drive here on the location, going up here to the three dots and then say edit sidebar. And now you see all the hidden ones, like for example, Dropbox and Google Drive, and now let's say done. And now you have to make sure that you are actually logged in in the Dropbox app and in the Google Drive apps. I'm already logged in with my account. So now when if I open Dropbox here, I'm on my Dropbox. Or if I go to my Google Drive, I'm on my Google Drive's account. So let's go back to DaVinci, import media. For example, let's say we are going to Dropbox and we want to use some of our clips that we have on Dropbox. Let's say I want to use some clips from my Dropbox. I can do this the following. I can just select those. So the way it works is now that it downloads all of the files that you selected onto your iPad. This has a pro and a con. The pro is after it's downloaded, you can edit it fast. So that means because the video is on your hard drive, but you have to make sure you have enough space. If you don't have enough space and you want to work like this, then you either always make space or you get something like this. This is an SSD hard drive from Sendis. It's called Sendis Extreme. It's not sponsored. I just got that one because I'm traveling a lot and this has two terabytes. So I didn't have to upgrade my iPad to the maximum storage because that one is cheaper than upgrading your iPad to the maximum capacity. And because this is an SSD drive, it is as fast to edit on this one like on the iPad. Taking time. Come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Checking my phone, drinking a coffee. Testing my microphone. You are now going into a deep sleep. Finally, after having a lot of time, if you work with lots of files, but your files will be inside here of DaVinci Resolve. And now if we go into the files and we actually check out our videos, it is working fine exactly the ways that we wanted to have it. And it works just like every clip because I told you before, now the clips are on the hard drive. So if you work with Google Drive and Dropbox, you have to make sure you have the storage, the capacity. I would recommend you get something like this. I will put a link into this in the description. I have an announcement. I'm working currently on a masterclass for DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, a beginner's class to advance. I wanna give you everything that I learned in the last seven years of video editing so that you understand how to use those programs, what's the thought process from effects, from every, from everything. I will talk about what it's inside later. I'm giving away 50% off for everyone who is an early adopter. So if you are a DaVinci fan and you wanna work with DaVinci and you wanna have this course, please go over to Instagram x.lima and write me a message and I will put you on the waiting list. I will only give those 50% for the real fans and the early adopters because you guys will actually help me also make this program and the course better so I, I can answer your questions and maybe even make videos later if you have specific needs. I'm trying to cover everything that you need but anyway I will not give the 50% after the launch and I'm hoping to release this end of this week. So if you are interested in that and you want to have this course write me a message and I put you on the waiting list and you get 50% off immediately when it comes out. Okay, that's it for now. I'm Daniel. See you in the next video. Hope you like it. Hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-bang-bang-gong and see ya. Bye.